Hey guys, Corey here at Blackwood Woodworks. Today we're building this beer dispensing rusted cooler box out of pallet wood for Sterling Davis's Pallet Upcycle Challenge. Crack a cold one and let's get started with the project. This project started off with four pallets. The easiest way for me to break down a pallet is to use a circular saw to cut the slats parallel to the runners of the pallet. And then twist the slats off of the center runner. For those really stubborn nails, it's time to bust out the vise and a flat bar. With all my wood free and clear nails, I took it over to the miter saw and squared up all the ends of the slats. I pulled out my lunchbox planer to get a uniform thickness on all my slats. my slats of final thickness, I went over to the table saw and cut all my slats down to 3 inch strips. I went back to the miter saw to cut the pieces that would make up the sides of my cooler box. My box is 30 inches long by 18 inches wide by 14 inches tall, but the box will vary depending on what type of cooler you use. The panels that make up the sides are just simply glued and brad nailed into place. The legs for the cooler box were made out of two runners of the pallet and were glued and pocket screwed together. The panels were put into place marked, then glued and nailed and left for the glue to dry. I moved the box off the bench and added some additional pieces to the base of the box for some extra support. I added pieces of the top and bottom of each panel to give the box a more complete look. For the underside of my box, I used some extra pieces of runner to support the cooler whenever it's full of weight. I drilled some pocket holes and attached it to the bottom of the cooler. The 
The top was made the exact same way as the side panels by using glue and brad nails to hold all the slats in place. I added some hinges and a rope handle to the lid, and the main construction of the box was done. Next was moving to the internal mechanisms and the trough for the cans to exit the cooler box. The trough was 3 feet long, 4 inches tall, and 4 inches wide. I attached the trough to the internal structure using a few screws. Well guys, let's take a little time out from this project to talk about something. This project is for Sterling Davis's Pallet Upcycle Challenge. If you've never heard of Sterling Davis, I'll leave his channel link in the description box below. For every video that's uploaded for the Pallet Upcycle Challenge, Sterling's going to donate $1 up to $100 to the Make-A-Wish Foundation this year. It's going to a great cause, and Sterling, I'm going to match you dollar for dollar this year. Well, guys, I urge you, if you can get involved, do get involved and make a video of yourself making something out of a pallet. Let's get back to the project. To finish off the build, I had to modify the cooler and build the internal mechanism. To start, I drilled an inch and a quarter hole to accept a drain spout, tightened, and then siliconed it into place. Next was the layout of the drink chute. I laid a piece of galvanized steel to prevent corrosion and used an empty can to give me a rough dimension of the rectangle I was about to make. I then marked some layout lines to bend on. I don't have a metal brake, I used a scrap piece of wood and clamps as a makeshift brake and bent the metal into a rectangle. I made some rudimentary brackets and pop riveted it all together. I cut a hole in the bottom of my cooler to fit the chute and coned it into place to prevent leaking. Alright, so the general consensus is you have a slot up top for your cans. Your cans roll down to the bottom. They stay there, there's a little lever by your seat that engages into a slot and then kicks your can down the line. So all you need to do is have your favorite beverage on hand, fill the chute, add the ice and final touches, and kick back and relax because this build is done. Well guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the project. If you can get involved, please do get involved with the Pallet Upcycle Challenge this year going to a great cause in the Make-A-Wish Foundation. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. It really does help. And any comments, questions, or concerns, leave those down below. I get back to all of them. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers to you.